zero chip, so um, my face is so tired. I'm really sorry if it oh, looks so tired, but I'm shooting again at the kitchen because my mom is sleeping in our living room. It's near to her room. The door it's like 11, 12 minute. Oh, um, this week's vlog is more about like an update of what happened to me this week and <coughs> hi sweet you wanna be in the vlog no she says she wanna be in the vlog she, oh, okay here she is um so um i'm sorry for shooting her again i like the lighting here better anyway anyway uh, this week's vlog is just about a summary of what happened to me this week which was awesome because I was able to tour someone here in Cebu to get to know more about Cebu and of course the Philippines, right sweet? Sweet? No, oh, yeah, she's like, ah, oh. you go back to your baby. So I decided to cut that part off because my face was looking very boring and sleepy so tired of the trip so I decided to just retake reshoot this part of the vlog so here we are for this week vlog is more like a, a summary of what happened this week but don't worry there will be de details provided to you soon and there will be like new destinations here in Cebu because we've actually visited the south of Cebu with the rising travel vlogger in YouTube, Cup of TJ. As you might know in a previous vlog, I told you guys that she will be visiting in the Philippines and I invited her to come in Cebu. One of her vlogs she mentioned that she will be she she wants she's choosing between Australia and the Philippines and it's better to come here in the Philippines and if she can come here in Cebu so I can I actually volunteered to tour her around and so she did and I also did tour her around this week um, but her on her vlog if you are a fan of her or you want to see her vlog I'm going to put the link of her YouTube channel down below if you haven't seen her yet what's wrong with you so go on to her channel and just subscribe there and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so um, yeah, I toured her around in Cebu. She arrived on Sunday. I toured her in Cebu City in Monday. We went to the South on Tuesday and she um, spent a day there. And we go to the opposite side of the South just yesterday. That's why I had to retake the whole thing because I was really tired and I don't want to bore you guys. So as you might guys know, I am planning, Chanel and I are planning to go to Thailand, have a layover in Kuala Lumpur, go to Thailand, and then Singapore. And that's how I found TJ. Um, I found her vlog about Phuket first, I think, or Chiang Mai. And then uh, since then, I was like, this girl's really cool. And there's a lot of similarities between me and her. Well, just basing on her videos, that is. But then I was right when and it was in person. So when I pick her up in her hotel Monday to bring her to the to the top three uh, lit chon places here in Cebu, um, I was really nervous to meet her. But she was really really cool, and she was like we're like friends like for a long time that haven't seen each other. She was really really cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> she hugged me right away and it was really cool. Um, you know, every time I meet a new person or a friend introduces me to a new person, I usually keep quiet and observe the person. I usually observe people and then uh, just don't know how to approach them because I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, so that's how I really am. People at, at first they think that I'm quiet, but then when you know, when we're really friends they, they've been hanging around with me a long time they'll say gay you're so loud you're so noisy you're so talkative and actually in my school card my elementary teacher said too talkative in class so that part of just being quiet and observant was just out of the way when i met her 
Maybe because I watch her vlog, I feel like I know her already. Now I know how it feels to some fans out there who've met their uh, a YouTube vlogger. So in the first Lichon place we went to, uh, there's another vlogger waiting for us there. Mimi, it was my fault that she was late. I'm really, really sorry that I didn't know that. You know, you're reading for her and you have to leave. I was I was the one who was got caught up in the traffic. So I'm really sorry, Mimi. Mimi was there. She's a vlogger from, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember it right, it's Scotland. Uh, I am trying to find her YouTube channel because I forgot to ask for her info. And she was going to the south of Cebu too. And she was, said she was planning to go in Palawan and El Nido, which you guys know. If you didn't know, then go to my channel and check it out. Um, I've been to in El Nido, so I leave her some tips or on places that she needs. She must visit in Palawan. And both of them have never tried lechon. Uh, Mimi said that there's also lechon in Spain, but she never tried it before. And you should have seen their face. So that's why I'm also looking for Mimi's YouTube channel because I want to see her face again, her reaction in the first time she bite the lechon. <laughs> it was really funny. It was really like I I didn't have my breakfast that day and it was like lunchtime and I was not hungry because when I look at them it was really really funny how their reaction it was how surprised they were and how good our Chun is here once TJ is done with that video because she's like a number of vlogs behind for the fur fans like me um her on her YouTube channel she's still in Vietnam but she's like she said if I'm not mistaken seven or six vlogs behind and actually she's right now here in the Philippines she have 10 days here in the Philippines and she's I believe flying back to Taiwan but it will be like two months three months I don't know I'm not sure um, but hopefully soon she'll be able to finish the Vietnam vlogs and you will see me on her vlogs like maybe at least two three vlogs on her channel. One of the famous things to do here in Cebu is canyoneering and I told her about it and she was totally game to do it. So by Tuesday we went to the south and go to Kawasan Falls area to do the canyoneering and at first she was really really excited to do it and by the end of the canyoneering she was like really really tired. She actually asked if she wanna, I want to do it again but I said uh-uh no since I've done it before. And I was like, that was just once in a lifetime, I won't do it again. So I just waited for her to Kawasan Falls. And there will be a vlog about Kawasan Falls, which will be released next month. The good thing is, since I've done it before and know the feeling, I decided to contact a car rental company, CebuTrip.com, to rent a car. And they were agreeing to bring TJ in Kawasan. It's like three hour, three to four hours trip. But if you take the bus, it's more or less four hours bus trip. We were there very early like 8 a.m. but there were a lot of people already ahead of us so we were waiting there for them for like until almost 2 p.m. so they were almost done around 2 p.m. It was actually a great decision that we have the car rental company with us because on our way to Malwal where we drop off TJ we want to go do snorkeling and the rest of the guys were just knocked out in the car they don't want to leave they want to just go to sleep so guys if you decided to go to Kanyaneri and you want to go back to Cebu City go for a car rental company I'll link the website of the car rental company that we were with on the description below so by Wednesday TJ and I didn't see each other. She stayed in Walboal and I stayed in Cebu to get my rest and do some work done. We're both freelancers and she needs some work done too on her side so we both take a rest on Wednesday but she actually did snorkeling so you guys should also watch out for that vlog of hers about her Walboal experience. And yesterday Thursday we meet again on the opposite side of Malboal, where the famous whale sharks are in Oslo, Cebu. You know, I have like two vlogs about the whale sharks here in Cebu, and I'll be also making another one, which are some details that I wasn't able to discuss on the other video. So I'll also link the video about the whale shark down below this video. So guys, please expect that there will be a lot of links down below. Teacher was really excited to do it. She was came to go to the whale sharks. 
But sadly, when we were there, there were just few whale sharks there, and uh, there were a lot of tourists. But she was really, really happy to see the whale shark that near, and actually, the whale sharks. We didn't notice that the whale shark was coming in our way, and we hang on the boat, and the whale shark swiped on my butt. The whale shark. I'm the whale shark's type. After the whale sharks, we went to Tomalo Falls. At first, we want, we were choosing between um, Sumelan Island and Tomalo Falls. But since she had to catch the boat ride going to Dumaguete, she's crossing from Cebu to Dumaguete. So we decided that we just go to Tomalo Falls because just about thir less than 30 minutes away from the whale shark point, and we'll be just spending there our time there about an hour. So she was also amazed by the beauty of the Tomalo Falls. And she enjoyed it when we were really laughing going down there because she was her the way she walked was she was her body was slanting already <laughs> so it was really really funny and we had a lot of fun on that day too and after the tomato fall sadly we have to bid our goodbyes yesterday I think this is the only um, sad part for this week for me um, you found a new friend a great friend and she was really really nice to me and Chanel and Mo and then you have to say goodbye. So um, Chanel and I decided to just go with her to the port area where she can cross to the Maguete. And she <laughs> she was hesitant. She insists that we go to on our way back home, but we insist that we'll drop her off to the port and see, you know, like to say goodbye to her. And she was really touched and yeah, that's how we say goodbye to her. It was really sad for me and Chanel um, because, you know, we just met and then we have to say goodbye right away. Today is last day of TJ, right Chan? DJ into the <laughs> She's gonna ride over there. She's going to the Maggette. I'm gonna send her off. We're gonna wait for her and tell her the code of her bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when yeah. the ship is not. She didn't have a lock in her bag, so Chanel gave her one and she doesn't know the code. <laughs> it's pretty surprised. So uh, it's, it's TJ if you're watching. <laughs> that We're gonna miss you. Sorry. Okay, tell her. <laughs> no, don't tell her. Okay, well, it one's here. <laughs> nah. Later. <laughs> nice meeting you, TJ Shanks. What do you want to say? Uh, see you soon. Yeah, come back soon. <laughs> come back soon, our road. Come. Yeah, <laughs> go to where you are and get yeah, to. We'll go to <laughs> She's here. <laughs> Fast. Oh, my hand. I love you. <laughs> I was <laughs> TJ, bye TJ! <laughs> Your bad code is! <laughs> We're saying goodbye to TJ. She's just right there. It's so sad to say goodbye to friends sometimes. Chance now? Especially if you have a good time together. Oh no! Thank you said someone says goodbye to me, wave goodbye, or is it to you? To you! To me, happy birthday! I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> goodbye, TJ, nice meeting you! Come back soon! We're not gonna leave until <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna leave there after we see that they're already in the Maguete. <laughs> okay, that's really funny. Okay, bye TJ! Look here, look here! Bye bye! Okay, nice. <laughs> Just kidding. Bye, TJ. Nice meeting you. Come back soon here in the Philippines. <laughs> or we'll go somewhere, meet up somewhere. All right? Okay. We'll have to wait for a bus now. I don't know when's the next one, though. So, guys, expect two vlogs where TJ is in the vlog. So this, this is just a summary, by the way, because I just want to give you guys an update of my life. Because usually my vlogs are pre-recorded. 
it happened like weeks or months ago. So this is actually what happened this week. So TJ, if you're watching, thank you for coming here in the Philippines and accepting my invitation to come here in Cebu and having a week with us. And I hope you had a great time with us and experienced the best of what the Philippines can give you. So again, guys, I'm gonna link all the links that I've mentioned down below. Check it out. And I'll update the description below when they've uploaded their videos so you guys can easily go to it through this vlog. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. If you like what I do and you like what you've seen so far in this vlog, please subscribe to my channel and there will be more of Philippines travel vlogs coming soon. I'm hopefully a travel vlog in Asia. But yeah, I hope you subscribe to my channel and travel with me. See you guys on the next vlog. Bye.